Hi, I'm Shelly. Hi, I'm Charlie. And today we're going to talk about Will Day 2, the signing of the will. And Charlie was a little bit afraid about this day. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, every time, uh, even this would be the second time I'm going to the attorney's office um, about the will. And, you know, it it's just makes very real the fact that you're planning what happens when you die. And it's, it could be a little depressing. I try to um, keep things a little light um, by thinking of funny things like, why is it called last will and testament? It should be my first will and testament. I haven't done one before. Okay. So, <laughs> you know. And um, mine was very simple, luckily. And um, we also did a durable power of attorney and a, a health care power of attorney. These are things that you should you should all do. Um, the, uh, they, those two documents, uh, uh, specify, um, someone who can take care of you and do things for you when you're not able to anymore. That's important that you, uh, you have that. And, um, and, uh, yeah, that was, that it was, it was, um, turned out not to be that scary after all. And, um, it, um. How do you feel after having signed it? You feel a little bit at more at ease, um, a little bit more relaxed. Um, you know, it's over, that whole thing is over. Um, and um, you don't need to worry about it anymore. And um, uh, that's kind of a good feeling that that stuff is taken care of, so nothing will fall through the cracks. And one of the really important things that you put in there was organ donation. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to donate my organ and any other instruments I have. Uh, so, um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a believer in organ donation. If I could uh, give something to somebody and help them, uh, and that's important. Of course, you can specify that on your driver's license too, but um, they put it in the in the will as well. And um, yeah, I mean, um, that was kind of it. Uh, it's um, it wasn't as scary, but it was it necessary. It wasn't scary. It was necessary, and I'm glad we did it. And. Um, it's something that everyone should take care of. Um, do you think they should do it earlier on, if they could? Yeah, yeah, don't wait. Um, one thing about dementia is you never know when it's going to hit. And um, and so you want to sign these documents while you're still uh, able to. And uh, Yeah, when, when we went, what did we bring with us? Do you remember? We, we brought uh, doctor's notes um, specifying that I was are capable of making my own uh, decisions, especially financial decisions. Um, yeah, we brought two two doctor's notes. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, you have to, the lawyer has to be comfortable who's doing your will, uh, that you know what you're asking for. And, um, and so, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I think yeah. that it took a lot of courage to do that. And it's taken you years to be able to wrap your head around this. Yeah, I, I avoided this topic long before I was even sick. I didn't even want to deal with it. So. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You've done good. All right. Okay, well, go out and do a will. Maybe you have a family member who can help you. Maybe you want to do it online. Or maybe you just want to, you know, just go to a lawyer and get it done the way Charlie did, the way I did. It doesn't cost that much. Not if you're just doing a basic will. So do what you need to do to protect your voice, your desires, and to pre protect your loved ones. Right? Absolutely. <clears throat> and if this helped you in any way, please leave a comment, 
subscribe, like, and maybe share. Thank you. Goodbye.